So this encounter is a long, narrow, twisting, passage-based encounter. It's got a lot of pieces and particularly accessories that are useful for building out some sort of habitat or den for um, some sort of predator, carnivore, something the players don't want to face. All right, are you ready to explore the web layer? So let's start with some of the basic stuff. We have uh, a lot of your basic bread and butter. We've got straight wall, swell wall, trifecta wall, one inch wall, other swell wall, trifecta right angle. Uh, then we have a bunch of really cool passage pieces. So we have again the uh, widening passage. Uh, and we have one of my favorites here, which is the dead end passage. So this is a horseshoe shaped thing. So you can insert any floor that you want in there. So if you want to put a, if you want to put a puddle, if you want to put a trap door, if you want to put anything in there, you can, uh, you can switch out what's in the end of this dead end thing. This thing fits really nicely at the end of the widening passage. Uh, it obviously fits up with any of our passage pieces. Uh, and once again, it's full of all of our little thoughtful touches. It's got blue mushrooms, it's got little sparkly dwarven out in there, lots of things for you to discover on this thing. I'll talk about what it comes in it in a moment. Over here, we have this passage convex curve. So it's similar to the trifecta convex. It's doing essentially the same sort of thing, uh, but it's got a really unique shape uh, as well as this cool little salamander in there. Right. So this thing is designed to help you do corners in passages. It fits out really nicely with our passage pieces. So if you want to do a, uh, you have two of these to open up into a room or the like. Um, it also does really neat right angle, convex right angle turns with a couple of straight pieces. It's good. You could also put four of these around in a circle and make some sort of weird column in the middle or a base for something to build on. We're also using the large trifecta curve over here uh, as a passage piece. Just like the rest of our trifecta pieces, this thing is two parts, right? We have both massive wall, which has got lots of cool little dwarvenite veins in there. And then it's got the floor, the ledge, lots of puddles on that thing. The dead sides will be in here on the inside. And you've got, it's super organic because it's double-sided. And these fit together to make a cool corner. This can be used as a corner of a room, or in this case, we use it with the, the convex corner to make a right angle passage turn. Uh, we've got a couple other trifecta pieces. I'll say. So over here, we're using the trifecta pieces with a train tray to create a negative space pool. Uh, and the idea is these are creating some sort of pit. You can change out what's in there. Uh, we're using the trifecta ledges here. We have the trifecta walls over here framing thing. Uh, together, they make for a really cool stagnant pool. So let's talk about this monster nest. So this thing is designed to be um, a little nest for some sort of creature. Uh, there's lots of little bits in there, including a sword and skulls and the like. And it's sitting in one of our whole floor pieces. So this thing is designed to be used as a negative space, space piece if you want. It's going to come with um, some little texture pieces. It'll be neoprene backed in cardboard, so you can put like quicksand in there, or you can put some of this water, or whatever you want in there. It could also be a hole down to the next layer of your caverns, uh, something like. So this thing sits in there really nicely as an insert. We also have this little lid piece that sits in there that makes it into basically a plain old flat floor. Um, you could use this as a secret passage. You could use it as a pit trap. Um, you can also, if you want, you can just flip it over. Where's it flat? You can also just flip this thing over. It's double-sided. Uh, and you can use it on top of a flat floor to create some rough terrain or to uh, create some, uh, just some variation on your floor in your cavern. So this, uh, the whole floor and the lid give you a lot of, a lot of fun options, including a monster nest. Of course, this nestles really nicely into this dead end passage and makes a really cool, little cool burrow for uh, a creature. And oh, we have 
by the pool here, we have this really neat, uh, we're calling this riser B. It probably deserves a better name because it's so cool. But So this is a little freestanding elevation piece that has a bunch of different levels to it. You can use it in the middle of a room to uh, create some variation in the room. It combines really nicely with our stepped elevation block. That if you want to step up to a higher raised area. Um, and of course it works really nicely with this one riser A, which you'll find in the next encounter Cave of Ruin. There's a lot of different ways these can fit together. It has, has two sides that are flat and then the rest is irregular, uh, as well as this nook. So you can, there's a lot of different ways that you can fit these together uh, to give you a variety of irregular terrain and the like provides half cover and whatnot. In this case, we have it, uh, we're, I think we're gonna put a bonus, uh, maybe a stretch goal, get a pointy stalagmite in there and really dress up that corner. And then finally, we have some really cool little dressing bits in here. We have two piles of bones, clearly evidence that there's some sort of carnivorous creature. Oh, and these, these are designed so that they can also sort of fit together to make a larger pile of bones if you want. Looks pretty cool. Um, speaking of danger, this poor gentleman ran into trouble. This is a cocooned body. Uh, you can just sort of see some hints of a hand and maybe some flesh over there. Maybe they're dead, maybe they're just cocooned. I don't know, but there's somebody's there and they've been held for a snack or some such. And what's cool is this is not only it's freestanding on the floor, but it's a magnetic piece. So it'll work with our magnetic walls. So we've got two of these magnetic walls in here. Uh, oh, look at that. So he, he can stick right to the wall. He's been cocooned in place, the poor bastard. He's just going to hang around for a while there on the magnetic wall. This will, of course, work with your Dungeon of Doom magnetic walls, your city builder magnetic walls, your castle builder magnetic walls. Uh, so this guy can adorn any of your magnetic walls. He can also sit on the floor. This magnetic wall, of course, takes all of your magnetic accessories from City Builder, from Castle Builder, from Dungeon of Doom. Great way to accessorize your cavern. Uh, and speaking of magnetic accessories, we have these magnetic spider webs. Uh, these are going to be cast in like a very soft, pliable silicon, so they're really flexy. They'll have little magnets on the feet. We don't quite have, we have one magnet in there so far. Our prototypes aren't fully operational yet, but they will be. Um, so these things are designed like in this case, to be you can string them between two magnetic walls once we have magnets in there. Um, you can attach them in this. In the widening passage, we've got magnetic walls here and here, so you'll be able to put this, something like that, in your, uh, in your passage. Blocked passage, players can rip it out. You can also place them, place them flat on the floor if you want, uh, put it over a floor hole, put it on the ceiling, drop it on players, and a beautifully sculpted little web that's going to be soft and flexible and play nice with all of your magnetic walls. So that's pretty much everything. If, uh, if this Kickstarter exceeds all expectations, we may have an optional buy that we could unlock uh, that could populate this thing, but uh, we'd have to go pretty ridiculously high. All right, so that was the web layer. It's got all sorts of passages, bones, a fetid pool, cocoon body, of course these magnetic spider webs, everything you need for some sort of crazy savage beast's lair. Beep.